Right. A person six feet tall walks at a speed of five feet per second toward the street light that is 20 feet above the ground. So here is the street light, 20 feet above the ground. And then a person six feet tall is walking towards the street light. Okay, so this is six. Okay, and then uh, when he is 10 feet away from the base of the, the post, at what rate is the tip of his shadow moving? So it, since this is the light source, you can draw a straight line from the light source, and this will be the shadow, right? And the question is, how fast is the, the tip of his shadow moving? OK, so I need to put a 6 here, because that's the, the, the height of the band, which is not changing. Uh, the street light is always 20 feet. But I don't want to put 10 over here because that 10 is changing, right? It's, uh, it, this word when uh, means uh, he's at this distance from the wall is changing and it's asking for the rate of change at, at a specific period. So you don't want to put this 10 there. Okay? So that's, that's the picture that you want to draw first. Okay. Now let's look at the rate of change and see what kind of variable we, we need. A person six feet tall walks at a speed. Good. Here's the, here's the word that we are looking for, speed, of 5 feet per second. So we have to write down the derivative of something equals to 5. And how do you measure the speed of a person or any moving object? Well, you have to measure the speed as a rate of change of a distance from a fixed object. Okay. You, want, you don't want to measure the speed of this person as change of this thing because the, the, the shadow is also moving, the tip of the shadow is also moving as he's getting closer and closer to that. So, so you don't want that. You really want to use your x as this one, this length here. And then, only then you can say dx dt equals to negative 5. All right. Why negative 5? Because he's walking towards the street lamp. And what would that result in? Is that shrinking or increasing? Shrinking. It's shrinking. It's, it's decreasing. So therefore, rate of change is actually negative 5. Okay. So that's how you should write down uh, the first sentence. Okay. All right, now let's try to do question A. At what rate is the tip of his shadow moving? Well, the tip of his shadow is right here. And again, in order to figure out how fast it's moving, you have to figure figure that out from the, the distance from a fixed object. So here, here, here's the wall, and let's say this length, the distance from this point to the wall is, not the wall, sorry, the, to the land it is y. Okay. If you call that as y, then you can say, the question is, how fast is y changing when, what, what there? X equals 10. So that's, that's how you set it up for part A. Okay. So I'm going to do part A and I'll leave part B for you. Alright, now we have to find the relationship between X and Y. Well, how do we do this? Uh, again, we have two right triangles. They're similar, so use similarity between the two triangles. Okay. Uh, the, the only challenge may be that this side doesn't have a name. What is this length? If this length is x and that's y, what, how do you, what, what is this length? Huh? It's y minus x, right? So uh, what y minus x is to 6 is, in the bigger triangle, what is what? What y is to 20. And then you cross multiply, cross multiply, so you have 20y minus 20x equals 6y. And then move the 20x to the other side, 6y to the other side, and then you have 12y equals to 20x. Okay, so we're almost done. Now differentiate both sides by y, by t. So what is that? That's 14 dy dt equals to 20 dx dt. Okay, dx dt is negative 5, so plug that in. Let's see. 
So 14 times dy dt equals to 20 times negative 5, which is negative 100. And therefore, dy dt is negative 100 divided by 14. Um, if you use a calculator, 100 divided by 14 is 7.14, so this is about <coughs> negative 7.14 feet per second. Alright, um, this, this is a special case where this x equals to 10 wasn't necessary at all. Okay? Usually you need to plug it in, but for this question, this x equals to 10 really didn't matter. So what it meant was, um, as it's getting closer and closer to, to the shadow, uh, closer, closer and closer to, to the street lamp, uh, the, the rate at which the shadow is coming in is constant as long as the man is walking towards to the street lamp. Okay? Now, uh, you can see that the speed of the tip of the shadow is faster than the man walking, right? Do you think this makes sense? That's because, think about the extreme case. When this man is right under the light, the shadow has to be zero, right? So, so this x has to become, when x is equal to zero, y also becomes zero. So uh, the, the shadow has to go from here to there in the same period and when, when x, the man goes from here to there. So the shadow has to cover more distance within the same time. Uh, therefore, it should have faster speed. So reasoning like this really helps to trust your answer. You never know where you made a sign mistake or something. So uh, when you get your answer, you should try to uh, see if your answer does make any sense. Any questions? Okay. Now try B or something. <laughs> 